People, they don't know what Islam is. They just see a newspaper article or a news program about it, and that's the Islam. When I first became Muslim, my mom thought I'd become a terrorist. And my dad is EDL, so you know. It's hard being young today in British society, but it's even harder being young, British and Muslim. The young people are our future. If we do not correct them now, we will have no future. But if you're not actually putting nothing in their hand or a proper direction, then it's very hard for them to change. I get the calls from quote unquote practicing Multazim families whose children are caught up in the game. Muslim communities, the masajids need to understand that we need to utilize those spaces because there's no spaces in the community no more. Young Muslims are now in bookies. Young Muslims are now standing up in places where they shouldn't be standing up. A man on the road who's selling drugs with this, that and the other, who's in a gang, he doesn't feel like he can go to their mum and speak to him. My sister, who's having problems with like wearing hijab and wanting to get out of the raving and club and get rid of this boyfriend that, their mum is not someone like he should be, that they feel they like a friend that they feel that they can go to and get real advice for a real situation. New culture of, well, I'm on road and I'm on Dean, not understanding that it's oil and water. The young people, I've, I've had to challenge and say to them, you know, 12 yards do shootings. Shooting is a shooting, you'll go to jail. We don't think of the word wisdom with youth, uh, but youth have wisdom. We need a support system within this religion to help these youth mm. because they're coming to this religion, they're calling for this religion, but they're getting rejected by the same religion, not the religion, but the people. If you look at the example of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the way he used to deal with young people, how he always used to have the young, young children around him. He wasn't an individual who, you know, who used to shun young people. He used to listen to them, he used to take time with them. You know, young people are celebrated throughout the Quran as leaders, as role models, as people who have given guidance to humanity. And we can look for Islamic history and find many other examples of young people making a significant impact based upon their understanding and practice of Islam. Islam and the Muslim youth are here to add value to this society, but not the cost of our deen.